Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. This story comes from North Wales. And this is about how friendships can deteriorate very fast and can also result in you nearly losing your life. Nathan Roberts has been jailed today for stabbing his former friend Cole Johnson 56 times. He was lured to a spot and set upon, as the prosecution told the court, and the victim lives the night over again and again. Giving evidence behind a screen, Cole Johnson told the Crown Court that it was his friend Nathan Roberts who attacked him. At the time of the trial, Roberts denied attempted murder and wounded him with intent to cause grievous bodily harm. He had accepted that he had arranged to meet Mr Johnson down a dark lane near to an entrance to Cora Steel in Garden City on October the 21st, 2020. He claimed it was because he wanted to buy cocaine and the area was convenient for drug dealing. Mr Johnson told the jury that he was not a drug dealer and he had driven to North Wales to collect money Mr Roberts had owed him. It's alleged that Roberts had hit Mr Johnson over the head which made him defenceless and then he attacked him in a sustained knife attack. Mr Johnson got back into his car and the 28 year old of Chester Close in Flintshire said that it wasn't him but two black men wearing tracksuits who attacked him with foreign accents. He said that after they fled, he moved Mr. Johnson into the passenger seat of the car and got into the driver's seat, saying that he was going to get him to hospital, but stopped at the Texaco garage at Sealand Road to put air into a flat tyre. The court heard that blood-soaked Mr. Johnson staggered out of the car and fell onto the floor of the petrol station, while Roberts brought cans of beer and Red Bull. Mr. Johnson was rushed to hospital and needed surgery, and when he came round, he told doctors that two other men had carried out the attack, but the jury said he had no recollection of saying that in his evidence. In court, he said the only person that could have done it was my mate, Nathan. Where in Garden City were you? By the um, chorus, but... Um, okay, what's your day birth, buddy? 22nd of the 5th. Yeah. 1991. So in some sort of attempt, Nathan was going to take him to hospital. A bit like Chopper Reed, he's apologising, he's trying to make up for it. Bang, and then put him in the bloody car and whiz him off to the hospital at 100 miles an hour. And now, also similar to the story of Chopper Reed, Mr Johnson stands up in court and gives evidence against his former friend. The defence asked Mr Johnson if he was linked to drugs or whether he was treading on the toes of other dealers. Johnson said he was not a drug dealer and he was in the middle of nowhere and was not meant to be there. He then reiterated that Nathan had stabbed him. I wish it wasn't true and I wish that day never happened. I'm suffering and I have to live with that for the rest of my life. The court heard the police found cocaine and cannabis in Mr Johnson's car along with £600 in cash, a set of scales and also bicarbonate of soda. The defence suggested that he used it to cook cocaine and Mr Johnson said he owned up to everything that was in the car and so some of it including cocaine was not his. The court also heard that Mohammed Arshad, a cashier who was working in the Texaco garage on the night, the two men came in at around 9 o'clock, said that he was in pain and full of blood and he was making noises and saying oh my god. The other man brought Red Bull and beers and Mr Arshad described him as totally confused and said he was looking at the victim and was not helping him. During the sentencing, Johnson from Prescott later admitted possession of cocaine. The defence urged the judge to not send him to jail in wholly exceptional circumstances. He said that his life would be in danger in prison because people would know that he has become an informer about the stabbing to do with his friend. He says that if he receives a jail sentence, you are sending him to the company of people that will see him as a grass and he will potentially become to harm. The judge said that he cannot dismiss any custodial sentence and gave him 18 months for the possession of the drugs after the stabbing. In relation to Nathan Roberts who stabbed Johnson, he received 12 years and must serve at least 8 years before he can be released. The judge also said that they did not know how much money Roberts owed Mr Johnson but his family had also said that they had paid 30 grand in debts for him on previous occasions and he was addicted to crack cocaine shortly before the attack. So this just goes to show how drugs can deteriorate any friendships and money of course always will get in the way. 
So I really want to hear what people have to say on this story. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And follow us on social media as well as Scar City Studios. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.